In this episode of Build It With Brian, I'm going to show you how to install the Square D Homeline 100 amp 20 space main circuit breaker panel, and that's coming up next. How's it going? My name is Brian. I'd like to welcome you to another video. If this is your first time here and you'd like to see how-to videos like this and all sorts of other project videos, consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to click that bell so that you won't miss a video when it comes out. A little disclaimer before we get started. I am not a licensed electrician and you always want to check what your local codes are. And if you don't know what you're doing in these type of situations, hire a licensed electrician. You know, you definitely don't want to get zapped by 120 volts or even 240 volts. It's electrical is not that mysterious like a lot of people want to make it out to be. You just have to be very respectful of what you're doing before you start because you know it can kill you. So what we're going to be installing here today as I said before is the Square D home line 100 amp circuit panel and what's going on here is that we're building a barn and I'll link up to the uh, card above on the build for the barn but I need some power in the barn and I looked at a couple different packages and I've always liked Square D for power circuit boxes and you know the way that they build their fuses. So I thought it would be a great option. Now I've got it on this board here and it might seem like a little bit of overkill to have the board this large. Um, you could go with a smaller board, but since the ceilings in the barn are 10 feet tall, I wanted to have a place to be able to secure the wires when they come out of the box and go up through the rafters. I've got the wiring coming up through the floor. We don't have the concrete in here yet, but that was one of the things I actually did that before they put in the gravel. Let's talk about the wiring that I've got in here. I've got a 2224 configuration coming in. So basically what that means is I've got three number two wires and one number four wire. Now the interesting thing about the box outside is that it has uh, only three lugs. So it has two legs of 120 and then one ground or neutral circuit. So I've actually got four conductors here. I can use three of them. All right, so now what I'll be doing is when I come up from the conduit that's down below, I'm gonna to need to put an extension panel in there, but because the panel is a little bit out from the wall and I've got the pipe coming in the barn fastened to the wall, I'm gonna use one of these offset um, connectors here. And then one of the things you wanna put in the top of that is one of these bushings. And the reason you wanna put one of these bushings in there is because sometimes these can be pretty sharp and this bushing here will actually make it smooth on the inside so you don't have any issues with your wire getting cut or anything like that. So I'm gonna use that. So I've got the wires cut. They're cut to give me enough room to come up here. Now, what we need to do is get a knockout out of here and then put a coupler on the tubing here, get everything lined up. All right, so here is where our coupling goes right down inside of here. And so we'll take a look at it and see, it looks like that we need to knock out these right here and it's pretty simple to do all that you have to do on that take a screwdriver and uh, give it a good whack on here like this and then take a pair of needle nose pliers and reach up inside of there and just kind of start wiggling this thing back and forth and it'll break off pretty easily um, not a lot of effort just keep working at it and uh, it will come off of there so see if I can twist this one and break it off. All right, there we go. All right, so here's the nut that I was talking about. This is the nut that goes on top of the PVC before the other little collar does. So this will go here and then it will thread onto the pipe there. And one of the easiest ways to tighten this down, I found, you could use a pair of pliers or something like that, but it's easy just to put a screwdriver on it, just tighten that down really good and tight. Make sure everything is secure. Just want to make sure we didn't have a gap in there. So just adjust to make sure that everything fits the way that it should be. All right, now we got a nice tight seal in there. Put this on. Now we're going to fit. All right. There you go. Voila. All right, so now it's time to get our wires up and around in the top of the box here. So because the meter base outside only has three wires in it, I'm gonna use 
the largest wires that are in the bundle here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get these bent around and it's not, it's aluminum wire, so it's not real, it's not super heavy, but uh, this is the neutral wire and it's actually, boy, I lucked out and cut it just the right length, I tell you what. Uh, looks pretty good really from what I'm looking at here, so I can bend it around and basically I'm gonna put it into, as far into the side of the box as possible so that whenever I bring all the other wires down from the top, I don't run into any issues with that. And there's a strip gauge on here on this fuse block, three quarter inch is what it's showing. So there's that wire. All right, now I just need to strip those wires off and get them plugged in there and screw them down tight. So I'll be right back. All right, now in order to strip these, I'm just gonna use a regular old razor knife and we'll uh, run around there about the three quarter of an inch mark and give it a cut down the middle of the wire there and grab my pliers here. A little bit stronger than my fingers. There we go. Now, I'll take our screwdriver and loosen up the center lug for the neutrals and plug this sucker in. Let me loosen it up a little bit more. And it is perfectly acceptable to have some sticking through. That's fine. Uh, no problem with that at all. Then you come back and uh, tighten this down really good. Just so you make a really good connection with it. And it doesn't matter which, uh, they're both, neither one of them have any kind of a stripe or color on them or anything for the, for the hot terminals. So it doesn't really matter which wire you put wear on that. So not a big deal. Just get it all the way down in there. And then tighten it down really good like the last one. Tighten it down a little bit and then push this wire into there while it will still kind of twist the way you want it to. And get it pushed back in there so that when you tighten it down, it kind of holds it into place. It can be kind of cumbersome to work with sometimes, but just manhandle it a little bit. All right, those are all on. And then there's a couple of safety guards that they have to put on there. And those go on just like this. And what those do is they just basically prevent you from touching the lugs when you're installing your fuses and everything. So I think it's a nice little safety feature. And we are done. All right, so just a quick overview of the fuse part or the circuit breaker part of the box here. So one of the ones that came with it was this 30 amp, this 30 amp dual pole breaker. That will go in just like this. You would put it in there and then it would snap in to, uh, get it snapped in here. That would snap in there. And then it came with a couple of single pole 20 amps. So those would go in here. Whoop. in there and then this one to go here whatever your whatever your amperage is that you have and then your wire that you got to have that you're going to have coming down into the box i'm just going to go down the box through the top with some sort of a termination there your on your 120 side your hot leg is going to go into this terminal on the breaker itself and then you've got these two terminals on the side here and your neutral and your ground would go into there. And then obviously you wire your circuits from there. And that is how you install the Square D Home Line 100 amp 20 space main circuit panel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, leave me a comment down below, tell me what you'd like to see, uh, as, as well as if you see something that maybe I did wrong or something that you wanna add to the information that I put, please leave a comment down below. Like I said, I'm not a, a licensed electrician. 
I'm just a DIY person. I have worked for some electrical companies before, so I do know my way around electric for the most part, but I'm by no means an expert. So if you know something more to add to it, leave a comment down below. Until next time, keep building.